how's it going guys and welcome back to a brand new video now there has been a lot of people asking lately on how to install Pixamon and um, it's mainly been the people who have been trying to get on to the Pixamon survival server but I thought it would be very insightful for me to give you guys a hand and actually make a video for you guys to come on um, so I'm gonna talk my way through the process and um, it's quite a bit of a lengthy process but you can get used to it and you can actually do this um, with any mods which you want to install um, but this is going to be priority for Pixamon so we'll jump straight into things so first of all what you need to do is make sure you have the correct Pixamon installed so if you head over to the Pixamon website it will be linked in the description below and you head over to downloads and you download the record well whichever version you are needing um, of course there are a lot of people who will want the 1.5 version at 3.5.1 version because of some of the servers which have updated and are still on 1.10 at uh, 1.7.10 sorry and others will want some of the newer versions because they want to do um, series or they want to have a, a tester of the brand new Pixelmon which have been added to the mod and also um, for this particular video I'm going to be getting the 4.1.4 uh, version because that is the version my Pixelmon survival is and I'm just gonna that's just the server I'm gonna use to test to get onto to show you guys it works so you come over to here, you click the download button, it takes you on to another page. I actually have adblock on, so let me just turn that off. And it will do its countdown for its websites and stuff like that. You wait for it to, you can ignore all these random advertisements it gives you. Um, I mean, some of them are quite annoying. And you just let it count down. This in the top corner, as you can see, it now says skip ad. You skip the ad and it will draw you to this page. And you've just got to wait 10 seconds for the thing to count down and you'll be able to download the Pixelmon version. This is for 4.1.4 though. So you go ahead, you click that and you download it. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to sit here and wait for it to download. So now you've got that, you need to have Forge. Um, some people will already have Forge. But if you don't, again, this will be linked in the description below. Uh, if we head over to Forge 1.8, um, it will open up to this website. It's usually the first one. Um, again, it will be linked in the description, files.minecraftforge.net. You head into here and you select the 1.8. Make sure it is 1.8 because some of the newer ones, it depends what the server's updated to. Um, but if you stick to 1.8, it will definitely work. Now, I recommend... Um, using if you're using other mods i would recommend sticking to one of the versions down the bottom here it would be version i think it's one three four four so it's just here this is the version i would recommend it's the ending values you have to look at so this is the version i'd recommend um 11 14 1 and then 1 3 4 at uh, 3 1 3 3 4 you go here you click the installer and it will actually take you to another diverted page again top left hand uh, top hand right hand corner and it will ignore anything that else downloads click the skip and there you go forge you can keep it there's nothing wrong with these files there we go we've got the forge that we need so we can go in and retrieve that um, now next what we have to do is you have to actually install this version of forge so if I head over and I open up the installer which we just installed and it will, should bring up this text box um, and it says mod system installer, it's Minecraft Forge, it's got the version number there and what you want to do is you want to ensure that you have, you click install client and you want to make sure this is pathwayed to your .minecraft folder. If it is not to your, di your .minecraft folder, it will not work. As you can see, it's right here. So you just make sure it's on .minecraft. If it's on anything else, it will not work. So make sure it is there. Then you click install. It will do its install and you will get this successfully installed client profile forge for version. And it will give you the version number. And there we have it. So it has installed it for us, which is wonderful. That's what we want to do. 
Um, if any other dialogue boxes come up, um, make sure that you, again, you've checked that it says um, the pathway is linked to your Minecraft, uh, dot Minecraft folder. And if it doesn't work again when you've done that, make sure you have loaded uh, vanilla Minecraft 1.8 up. Um, that I don't know why, it's just something to base it on, but make sure you have done that. Um, and those are the two main common error boxes which appear. So if those do come up, make sure you follow those instructions and it will well, it'll sort itself out for you. So next we have to import the mods that we're going to be using into our .minecraft mods folder. So if you go down to your start menu and if you go to, I think on some systems, it's an actual text box. Um, I'm using one, uh, Windows 10 here, so it's probably easier for me to show you this way. Uh, if I go to File Explorer uh, and I open this, um, if you go, if you go to here, and it should give me, it's not giving me a drop down menu. Okay, that works too. That works too. Okay, we'll do it the other way. Uh, if you head down here and you, sorry right click and it will bring you the run option so make sure you right click on your start menu and cut the run option it will give you this text box and if you type into this box percent app data and this will bring up this folder which is your roman folder which i just shown you earlier uh, with your dot minecraft at the top if you open this dot minecraft folder and you have a look through these, you should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, just create a mod folder. It not everything it doesn't always have a mods folder if it's like a new Minecraft. So make sure you create a mods folder. Go into this mods folder, and as you can see, it's empty at the moment. So you want to drag in the version of Pixmon that you're using. Um, if you want to use uh, any Optifine, make sure you drag that into it here. Uh, Optifine can actually be used as a mod. And then if you've got a server that you're trying to join and it's using different mods like my survival server, we're going to drag in all of the mods which we need for the Pixel survival, of course. So that is it. Now with that is all loaded, everything should be in order. Now if we open up our Minecraft, here we are, we've got our Minecraft open. And if we head down to our edit profiles tab, it, and we go to use version. We have to make sure the version selected is the one we just installed. So it ends in the 1334. And we can click save profile and we can load Minecraft. Um, if there's any lagging or there's anything like that, um, or you're freezing, you can't move when you join the server, or you're being disconnected straight away. Um, then there's a few things I could recommend to help solve this problem. Um, first of all, if we head back into our edit profile tab, um, as you can see here, there is this command. Uh, sorry, not command. Um, if we just delete that. As you can see here, this is dedicated RAM. So make sure you tick this box called w, uh, JVM arguments. It might be filled with a load of junk. Just delete that and type in this command. I will link it in the description so you can directly copy and paste it in. This is for two gigabytes of RAM. Um, depending on your PC, how much gigabytes you have, you can dedicate more, um, but the recommended is around two gigabytes. Um, once you've done that, you can save profile and then you can load up Minecraft once more. If it still is persistently not working to your, like how you'd want it, there is one more thing you can try. Um, you can go back into here and you can click um, and type in this command. Um, this is called garbage collection and it kind of sorts out, it kind of prioritizes Minecraft a bit more and obviously that means you'll be able to, it will speed up a little bit more for you. Um, as you can see, I actually had two lots of these which means i'm using four gigabytes of ram this is because i have a very very powerful pc um i can upgrade it to more if i really want to but four gigabytes is more than enough and i've also got the garbage collection in there just 
extra really. Um, I don't need it in there for the power of my PC, but it's there anyway. Again, you can click save profile and you can load up the world. Now I'm going to show you here that it will in fact uh, work. I mean, for me, um, it doesn't work because I have no reason for that to be in there. I'm actually using more than enough for it to work. So if I click play, it should work. Um, if that error code ever does come up, take it out and try loading it again. Um, but it shouldn't. Uh, that error code shouldn't appear all the time. Um, it's mainly for people who are using less gigabytes than, of course, I'm using four. So there is really no need for this garbage collection code to be in there, which is why it rejected it there. So let Minecraft, we'll just let Minecraft load up for a second. Obviously, I've got a very quick PC, so it's loaded up already, as you can see. Um, all the mods are listed in here, or at least dynamic lights are. There we go. All the mods are linked in the bottom here. Um, if we can click on to multiplayer and just refresh, there we go. There is our Minecraft Pixelmon server, and I load in, and there we have it. I have loaded it in. It is a very, very nice world. There is no lag whatsoever on my end. Um, I'm actually using a different recording software here, so it might lag a little bit on your guys' end. But there we have it. There is no lag whatsoever. Of course, I have a very powerful PC, but depending on the power of your PC, you can actually check this feature. Um, I'm actually going to log out of Minecraft here. Um, if you want to check this feature, head down to here. Go in, and if you're on Windows 10, you can just click System, and it will bring it up. Um, otherwise, you could go to, I believe it's Control Panel, and then System. And then on System, it says how much RAM you have in your PC. Uh, I think mine says 15.9, because it doesn't use all 16. It has to keep some. Um, but yeah, that's what mine says. I've got 60 gigabytes of RAM in this PC, um, which obviously I don't use all of it at once. But that is how you install Pixelmon. There's nothing else to it. That is how you install it. Um, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hopefully you guys found this very insightful and it worked for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll do my very best to answer them. Um, but for now, have a wonderful and safe day. I'll catch you guys all in my next episode. See you guys all then.